Partnerships can be very beneficial in the automotive industry. It allows manufacturers to co-develop and share technologies, which in turn makes bringing a new product out quicker and more economical. This is an example of one of the latest automotive partnerships, and that is between Acura and General Motors with this. The brand new Acura ZDX, or ZDX if you're in the United States, which is Acura's very first electric vehicle and also their most powerful vehicle in their lineup. The ZDX is based on the same platform as the Cadillac Lyric. On the inside of the Z or ZDX, completely different from the Cadillac Lyric for sure. That one actually has that 33 inch uh, digital display. This one, Acura went with a different approach with two screens. We have 11 inch a driver display. Graphics are extremely clear, well shielded, an 11.3 inch infotainment system. This is the built-in Google system. However, unlike some other uh, vehicles from General Motors that are opting out of the CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, just going with their own system, this one has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, as you can see here, it's pretty quick and uh, the system's fairly easy to use. Up top, there is a dock, uh, so things like one pedal drive, you can just hit that right there, easy. And this here is where your lights are controlled. If you want to turn them off for auto, uh, that's how it's done. Not a big fan of that. You can, of course, uh, on the turn stock is your high beams, but that's it. Everything is done through the menu there for the light system. Uh, camera wise, we have a backup camera as well as a 360 camera. I really like this camera. First of all, it's clear and it is really undistorted like some other cameras uh, and really easy to use. If I just click that, we can see the back, we can see the front, uh, we can see overhead from the front or the back and our side views, our, our front, I can see my front tires and rear tires. This is definitely going to curb the curb rash uh, for sure on there. On the A-Spec, that comes with 12-way power uh, seats, but this one comes with 16-way power seats, but both trims do get heated and ventilated Milano leather seats. The Type S gets heated rear seats as well. Below, we get full physical buttons for our heating controls. Love that, really easy to use. Also, there is a, a fair amount of hard plastics on the lower dash as well. And I don't think that's that, that's super accurate like. I'd like to see even, I don't know, just these chrome uh, knobs just really, uh, really draw my attention to them. They just look plastic. Uh, below that, you have this tray here. And I think that, I don't know if there's something underneath here that they've got, you know, wires running through, but if they could make this trough area a little bit deeper, it's a little bit shallow. So if you were to put, of course, this is a pretty big light, but let's just put that light there. Yeah, you take a corner and that's gonna easily fall off, no problem. So deeper there, uh, you do have under storage, oh, under this bridge type of console. Uh, that's really decent there. But yeah, there that is where you would think that the wireless charging is, but the wireless charging is in front of the center console. I do like the position here because you just drop it in. It's not gonna fly around for you. And a good size center console here. This Type S also is equipped with a head-up display and a pretty rockin' Bang & Olufsen system. Before we talk about what's powering this new ZDX, let's talk about the styling overall. Uh, once again, accurate DNA. You have the signature chicane uh, LEDs in the front, the jewel headlamps. Also, that shield grill, guess it? It's illuminated on the outside because there's no grill. Uh, I think they did a good job on that. Standard on the A-Spec are 20 inch wheels. This Type S gets 22 inch wheels. Overall, I think I like the look of this vehicle. The hood has some unique power creases in it, but it looks really long and flat at the same time. And this kind of looks, 
I wouldn't say this is like an SUV. I would say it's more like a large hatch or a wagon. Uh, and one thing though, someone pointed out to me, and I, I wish I didn't even hear it, but they pointed out the chrome piece that goes in the back, contrasting with the black uh, roof, it reminded them of, of a hearse. And I looked at it and I'm like, okay, I see it. I do see it. It's mainly because of the shape of that chrome. And it's hard to unsee it now that, that I've seen it. But anyways, uh, it doesn't really look like a hearse. Just that part kind of tricks your mind into it. This is definitely not a hearse. In the back, you get the chicane style tail lamps as well. Uh, standard power hands-free lift gate. You can also uh, turn it off or turn it off or on of just if it works just for opening or just for closing uh, inside really good amount of room if you need more room of course there are some remote uh, buttons to actually fold them down uh, there is really not a lot of under storage underneath the floor uh, that's where all the I believe that's a subwoofer under there there is no under the hood storage but they definitely remind you what you're driving you can't miss that you're driving Acura since this is based on the Ultium platform, same as the Cadillac Lyric, it's essentially the same powertrain on the top powertrain. Uh, in Canada, the uh, ZDX only comes in all-wheel drive, whereas the uh, United States, you guys get a rear-wheel drive option as well. In Canada, if you order a Lyric, you can actually get it in rear-wheel drive as well as all-wheel drive. So a little bit more flexibility with the Cadillac in terms of powertrains. But uh, the Type S, we mentioned this is the most powerful Acura in their current lineup. Yes, 500 horsepower and 544 pound-feet of torque uh, from this Ultium platform. Uh, powering it is a massive 102 kilowatt hour battery. That's pretty big. The charging, of course, on this is quite simple. Of course, you have level two and level three DC fast charging. I do have to point out one thing though, and uh, I'm quite surprised that and I can't find anything in the menu, is the uh, charge port connector is not lockable like on a lot of other EVs. When you actually uh, plug this vehicle in, regardless if it's unlocked or locked, you can always unplug it. Uh, so it doesn't lock on and I'm not a fan of that at all. Zero to 60 run, here we go. Three, two, one, action. There is a <laughs> little over 60 there. Oh yeah, this thing has some scoot to it for sure. It's not neck snapping power but it's right there. We are in sport mode now. Now, one thing I do have to really, really point out is where they put the drive mode button is possibly the worst place I've ever seen a drive mode button. It is right below on the left side, right by the parking brake and uh, the auto hold and the lane keep assist uh, button. It's way down here. You literally have to take your eyes off the road to see where it is to press it. You know, I would actually rather e it be even in a menu on the screen than down here. Yeah, really, really not a great place for that. But uh, besides that, yeah, once you're in it, you're in it. That's to the floor. Just, it's really, really nice. It almost reminds me of kind of like a, a V8, uh, a V8 power there. Uh, feels really, really good. Now, the more that I drive this vehicle, the more that I like it. And that's no surprise because I really did enjoy driving the Lyric, even though that was only rear wheel drive. Uh, this one, of course, with all wheel drive and more power, that part's better. But on the Type S, not only do you get more power, you also get uh, the brakes are six piston calipers for Brembo, plus the rotors are almost three inches uh, bigger as well. So really, really good stopping power, very powerful brakes for a very heavy vehicle, of course. And this is also equipped with air suspension. Uh, so it lowers, of course, uh, to get in and out easier uh, ingress and egress, but also for handling, you can lower it down, better aerodynamics and better handling for the center of gravity. That all together makes a big difference with the drive of this. Just 
yeah, there is some pumped in sound, but you know what? It's definitely tolerable for sure. And that air suspension really sucks up a lot of the irregularities of the road. And yeah, this is not a sports car, but it does a pretty decent job handling even in the corners for such a large and heavy vehicle. If you want to tow this, this will tow maximum 3,500 pounds. We mentioned partnering has its advantages, including sharing technology and Acura really benefits from it with this new ZDX because you see this green light on the steering wheel. This has Acura hands-free cruise. Essentially, it is brought over from the General Motors platform with their Super Cruise and this is hands-free driving. Uh, on, on millions of miles of mapped roads, you can go completely hands-free. Like it's not even gonna ask me to put my hands on unless you get to an area, maybe, maybe there's construction or there's, uh, there's an accident or something like this and it will just operate by itself. It will also even change lanes for you. You can turn that on or off. So if you're approaching slower traffic, it will actually check to see if it's safe and it will automatically change lanes for you. If you don't have that set to be, to be on, I can still, for instance, I'm going to just hit my signal light. It's going to automatically change lanes for me, just like that. But it didn't initiate it itself. I had to actually do it. But if I want, it can actually initiate it completely by itself. This is the type of technology that I would love to see on other Acura models. However, I don't think it's gonna happen because I'm hearing this uh, partnership with this particular vehicle is kind of a one and done type of thing. So um, yeah, but maybe they can develop their own. This is becoming more and more popular. This is not to control you and take away all your enjoyment of driving. Driving in traffic is no fun. There is no enjoyment. So why not let the computer do it for you and take some stress away from you. I'm all for it. So what are my likes and dislikes of this vehicle? Well, first of all, it is fully loaded uh, on this Type S. Lots of features, head-up display, bang and off and stereo, wireless CarPlay, large panel roof, uh, you know, ventilated seats. It's got all of that. Uh, also, the addition of the air suspension and the Brembo brakes on this, that is a big plus uh, compared to the Cadillac Lyric and also uh, the styling. Whether you like it or not, it is quite unique. Uh, they're both unique actually. I, I am a big fan of that Lyric's light show they have in the front, but I do like what Acura has done with the styling on it. It definitely attracts a lot of attention when you're driving it around, especially with this uh, combination of uh, paint tone. So how about dislikes? Number one, it's, we mentioned, a lot of that plastic, fantastic, not a fan of that. Uh, I, I even found on the center console here, the trim was actually kind of coming off a little bit. Uh, so yeah, that's one dislike. Second is that placement of that, of that drive mode button. I don't know who signed off on that. That's just a terrible place to put that put it through the menu even just makes it even easier than right down there. And the third thing, which we haven't got to yet, is cost. This uh, Acura ZDX Type S in Canada will set you back 94,000 Canadian dollars. Eee, yes, not inexpensive at all. If you're wondering, how does that compare to the Lyric? They're pretty well on par side by side. So the question is like, which one do you pick if you are in the market for that? And yeah, I think it all depends on what camp you're on. If you're a Cadillac fan and you like the styling of that, go for the Lyric. If you want Acura and like the styling of this one, then it's the ZDX. You know, either way, they're both built in the United States. So you are getting made in the USA products, just two different tastes for different people. So that's it. What do you think of this new vehicle? Leave a comment below. See you in the next video. Bye. Like always, if you like this video or any other content on this channel, I've got a lot of videos out there, not just for cars, by the way. We have tech stuff, even automated lawnmowers and travel uh, reviews as well. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. First of all, it doesn't cost anything. It's absolutely free. I do all of this uh, free of charge for you and uh, I pay everything my, out of my own pocket.
for the gas and everything else and of course the time so if you could hit that like and subscribe it would be greatly appreciated